<laughs> All right, game number four, round number four. Imagine's up two to one on Sonoman here on Vale right now. Ren, being the last match of the day, would you like to do the honors? We got a pipe lens for the aliens. Pretty standard, not too bad. Uh, early crack high from them. Early IP and armory. Half of the build on each of those. Very strange to swap halfway. And we have no gorge just yet. But it looks like Nitsi's going to pop down. There it is, straight away. He's grabbing his gorge. No cyst line just yet. Whoa, we're not grabbing gorges on, you know, live internet broadcast. <laughs> Am I saying things strangely? <laughs> <laughs> so Nitsi's going to build that tunnel here in Nanogrid. Build up a little bit of defenses and then he'd probably head back to Pipeline to uh, drop his other tunnel and then come right back. Meanwhile, over on the left side, over in Skylights, we've got Wob and Ancestral here with B1 going into the vent and taking out Tane. While three Skulks sit on the right side of the map watching after Malachi and, those, and Onzor. <laughs> those Skulks are rotating slowly when they realize that Wob and Ancestral are just pushing, just freely coming into system, and they'll be a cargo sub wherever they want pretty soon. B1's just building, they're gonna be a four extractor soon. It's looking strong for Imagine already. This space, this push might not be so advised. Yeah, and Zestriel uh, really didn't watch his corners there as he walks in. Llama able to come around the corner and just bite him pretty easily there. And uh, they're gonna hold Nanogrid now. They have gotten themselves up in Overlook, and uh, they've got the power socketed here in East Junction. And infestation has just begun to reach down to cargo. Yeah, I think Solomon now, just back in this game, I thought they were a little bit behind, you know, letting Imagine push as much as they want, but then they're clearing up Marines in the grid and subsector. A little bit of harassment, that's why I don't think that'll be particularly successful, but uh, nice little 1v1 for Tane to try and take. Oh, nice attempt. Imagine pushing for a fifth extractor. You can see Nate's going to try and defend his junction. He's going to pop down on Onzor, single bite. He's missing the second two. There they are, triple bite. Really well done from him. And Wee's going to come in onto Malga, who's taking a parasite with no armor one. He could get taken out pretty quickly. I think you let Malga go. You've got him parasited. You know where he is. Start doing some damage. Get out of this area. Two Marines, though, moving through wide junction. B1 and Wob. Llama coming around the corner, getting caught off guard. And they're going to head straight to cargo to try to cut this chain. Tane is waiting. Still no Lurks just yet. We are not, not too far from Lurks. And Nitsi the Gorge is sort of meandering around, trying to get his tunnel back up in Pipeline. Or I think he didn't actually get killed. But he's just trying to get a tunnel up in Pipeline to connect up Nanogrid. Cargo, you've got two Marines. It's very tough, as I said in the previous round, to get those guys out of that room. B1 and Wob now going to sit at the back. Anyone tries to push them, they're just going to stay at the back and hold steady and try and delay the fight as long as possible. That leaves the rest of the map open for building. Ancestral's clearing system waypoint. He's got 1v1 to take. We've got the Parasite advantage. And uh, there's a lot of extractors to clear through at this point. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking they're giving the Marines a little bit too much res here. Um, I just... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I I, I'm being nice, so <laughs> I, I'm right. trying to right. be like... I'm trying to think of the right way to say something without sounding really mean. <laughs> but I love it, sounding mean. But it just... It, it does kind of feel like Sonoman doesn't really understand how to play Alien effectively. I mean... They're so strong as Marines, and then it just feels like Imagine is even that much stronger, but in all reality, they aren't necessarily stronger. It's just against a weaker alien team. I think that's a very fair statement. You can see right now they're going to be on seven extractors soon, and we're not even at the four-minute mark, so uh, it's looking really strong for the Marines. They're just going to, it just looks like another win for the Marines. They're just going to power through upgrades. Armor 1, shotguns, they'll be on weapons 1 soon as well. And there's no alien play right now to stop all of this. They're, they're not killing Marines. The extractors are going down slowly. And uh, the Lurks, we've only got one of them on the field. And Nate is struggling to clear Ancestral. Taking a lot of damage. You've got a 1v1. He's doing pretty well. The bites are there. Tane coming in to help. And they clean him up, but it takes time. It just costs him health. And Onzor's in the middle of the system waypoint. He's making it very hard for him to get back to his hive to heal. And so, you know, now they take Subsector, but the Marines are still on six extractors. You've got Nate and Llama up as Lurks. So you got some stuff going on here in System Waypointing. The Lurks are starting to help a little bit, but you got to get on this res. You cannot afford to let them have this much res. Yeah, I got to check out the team kills. It's pretty even on team kills, actually, so maybe that's not the best uh, 
best resource to use to tell us who's winning. But uh, if you look at the t the resource towers right now, the Marines have just gone up and up. They've won they've done down a couple of times, but you saw they replaced those uh, pretty quickly, and uh, it's looking pretty good for the Marines. All right, Llama coming in. Seen Malga. Nate coming in from behind as well. Damage on both of them. Malga doing what he can, getting those pistol shots in as well. Both Lurks going to stay up, but they do take uh, you know a healthy amount of damage with uh, unupgraded weapons. Rifle, let's see, level 1 weapons about to go online. Level 1 armor already online. The shotgun's available, but only Onzor and Ancestral have them right now. A lot of the Marines are playing alone right now. They're not really winning fights, but they're playing so aggressively, and they're taking so long to kill that the aliens aren't really taking any ground. They've got their 3 plus 1, the cargo is going to go up, but Owens are an Ancestral using this opening to push in to Nanogrid, and it's not looking good. They've lost one Skulk. Lost two Skulks, and it's only the Lurks that defend. Llama comes in, but he's got two shotgunners in his face, and these guys have got pretty good upgrades. We're seeing the Art Factory upgrade somewhere in the background as well, and this pressure to Nanogrid could be the thing to win the game. It looks like they won't be able to recover from this. It looks lost. Yeah, now they're on the tunnel. There's no way to get in there. The tunnel's going to pop. Both these lurks are afraid to go in the room. You've got a rifle wob right around the corner. Weapons 2 being started immediately, which I absolutely think is the right move here by Hyvel. You know, these weapons have been so powerful already, and now that Weapons 1 is online, why not just put even more damage into these guys? They're spreading down to cargo, but Owns are an ancestral in here. The whole team starting to converge on Nanogrid. In they come. And they clean them up, but at the rate of losing infestation, they are lucky they did not lose any life forms there. Yeah, they've resisted the nanogrid 50% off of each of those harvesters. Cargo's been taken, and Malga did not push to deny that, which is unfortunate. I think he could have at least tried that. Looks like they focused on the nanogrid a little bit more than they should have, uh, considering Malga didn't really achieve anything there. He definitely could have pushed the cargo when they were uh, setting up for that crush in nanogrid. Marines still on five extractors. The aliens, though, starting to gain ground. Spreading infestation down into cargo and beyond. Getting that harvester back up, taking him to four harvesters. Trying to get C12 going, though. Onzor's in here, though, popping sis. System waypointing. You got some shotguns. You've got the lurks in here. B1 getting some good shots down, killing a skulk. Llama taking a lot of damage, retreating the wrong way. Is going to go through that vent and save himself. He took a risk with that first shotgun blast when he went down from 50%. He could have been killed. And uh, he was on 10%, I believe. But that's that's risky stuff. But I think they need to play risky. Because you can't afford to play safe at this point. They are behind. It looks all right on the T-Res right now. Imagine on five extractors. Sonoman on four. In fact, that's a slight... Oh, no. It was a slight advantage to Sonoman. That's gone now that they're on six extractors um, for the Marines. Phase gate is not done yet. So the system waypointing play right now. There's no phase gate to drop there. But we but, do uh, a double see phase. The rolling in. Okay. Yeah, we and Tane now out as Fade coming to waypointing. They cannot afford to lose either of these Fades if they hope to pull this back. You've got one Marine harassing down in cargo right now, and you've already forced your first uh, Fade back to base because you're harassing the base RT. And that's been desisted down to 60%. It's going to take a little while. That's going to get down to probably about 30% before that gets infestation. And the Arcs have arrived at Nanogrid. Yeah. This, this is, well, uh, this really strong push by the uh, Imagine players right now. They've pretty much had a plan for all of the harvesters on the board. They had a guy in cargo, a guy in pipeline, and there's arcs in nanogrid. They've done this perfectly, all at the same time, synchronistically, pushing these harvesters. Cargo's been claimed, which is brave, and this is actually what we need to see is brave plays from the aliens to keep them in this fight. But they're going to lose nanogrid. And down goes Llama. We in a lot of trouble. We just got to get out of there. How did both of those fades get out of that room? <laughs> wow. wow. Sometimes I just do not understand it. But the harvester back in pipeline down to 33%. The last lurk, you know, getting back to heal up as much as possible. And the second hive being built down here by a drifter in cargo. And you've got three shotgunners headed straight down to cargo as we speak. They know about it. Did they just scan it? They scanned oh, it. Yeah. They know about it. It's doomed. The Fades can try and take the fight, but they'll lose the fight. And they might even die for the type, which would be really, really bad. Yeah, Tane buying time for Wee to come in. Wee takes a meat shot the second he gets in the room. And they've both got to be really careful here about how they engage. 
I, you know, I'd love to see one of these Marines constantly focusing on the Hive while the rest of them are defending. That's exactly what they're doing. Every other shot into the Hive. The Hive goes down. One Skulk working on those arcs, but they've got one Marine defending. And Imagine has pretty much just run away with this game after taking out Nano and Cargo. Yep, we'll be seeing the face tech being placed just like a flag on the moon. They'll be taking that map control and probably from there the aliens will struggle to uh, take map control back and I think inevitably losing these fades. You see how close it is even now. Weapons 2, armor 2 and uh, as, as the game goes on I, I can't imagine the fades surviving too much longer. Indeed, indeed. And what's the push to, to get to Pipeline? I mean... Pipeline is, uh, you know, probably one of the better protected starting locations. You know, when you got people spawning from there and coming through the, the vent system and everything that's down there. You know, it's definitely a pretty strong situation. Uh, they're taking a toe, but it looks like they're going to make a base play. Nice. This is the only play they've got is just push the base and win the game. Oh, he doesn't and have enough to beacon. Well. Doesn't have enough to beacon. Well. Okay, there he goes. He just gets enough. They come in. Oh, they took, you know... Little opportunity there to maybe take down one of those fades that they had just started shooting when they came through. Didn't have them, but now they're going to be able to phase into Nanogrid. It's going to take them back up to six extractors. And, you know, they've got they've got those arcs. One arc all the way back up in Skylights. I'd start rolling that down to C12. But an arc up at Skylights, yeah. <laughs> C12, that's a long distance. Oh no, it's not if you go to the north. Uh, yeah, I mean, you want to get it involved in the fight. You don't want to sit it there doing nothing, uh, unless it can have vision of Skylight's left side. I don't think it does have vision, though. They're scanning pipeline now. You can see they're trying to enter in. Owns are in wob with rifles, but they're surrounded by lurks and fades. The engagement begins. We doesn't take much damage, and Tain comes from behind when they're reloading. Nick comes in just to help. And Tain leaves a little bit earlier than he needs to, perhaps. He comes back in. Clears them oh, up. they gotta be careful. Tain's gotta be careful right now! Shotgun coming around the corner! We coming in to help! Saves Tane's life. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. And Skulk on the phase gate in Nano Grid. Needs trying to take it down as Wob is desperately whipping out that pistol to finish him off. And he'll go back, get a welder, and fix this one up. They do need another phase gate somewhere over here near the dome. Um, even C12. So they can start putting the pressure on both sides. Yeah, dome phase gate would be awesome. You'll probably see the power node socket in a second. They've got a lot of money, so we may be seeing weapons three started before the phase gate uh, in dome. They may want to prioritize that weapons three and close the game up. Um, but at this point, is it high from Imagine? Yeah, he's got a lot of options. He's, he's got a lot of money to work with. Could be seeing cat packs and sentries in the. In I the would also, grid. you know, uh, I would not risk the base rush. I would build up a whole second base down in uh, in subsector. Certainly a uh, low risk play. Nice one. Clearly Down played. goes we. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a nail in the coffin for sure. For the Sonoman, they could not really afford to lose either of those fades. Yeah, and we're at a point in the map where the aliens can't base rush because they got they're gonna have too much aggression into the hive. If they try and base rush, they'll probably lose their hive, and they need the fade in here right now to defend. He's going to struggle. I bet he takes a bunch of damage and is sent flying around the hive to defend. Skulks are coming in. They're doing a pretty good job, but there's still three shotgun marines remaining. They do have welders, and Ancestral, I believe, is trying to weld these guys up. They're slightly separated, not welding each other up at all, actually. Well, they've got to try to get these eggs down. They've now taken all the eggs away, and yeah, the welding did hurt, but, you know, they would have died a whole lot sooner if those eggs hadn't gone down. Ancestral's going to have to try to pull back a little bit here, try to save himself. Can he get that shot on a Wii? Or Tane, sorry. No, he cannot, and he's going to be able to get back. One, uh, one, one shotgun does manage to escape. Two of them probably lost in that space. Ancestral's now got a 2v1. Gets taken out by a fade and alert combination. Again, no replacement phase gate in the dome. There's the power node socketed, so we'll probably be seeing it now. But perhaps they should have replaced that sooner. Would have been a whole lot better to get them back in action there. Sentries being placed in Nanogrid to protect that phase gate. We sitting in Topo, just kind of waiting, and uh, Malga actually kind of baiting for the fade a little bit there. Yes, I can imagine at this point, if the Marines get another fade kill, they're probably just going to rush the hive, and you can see they're pretty much pretty confident to push the hive anyway. They uh, they did it, you know, a minute ago, and it looks like owns are an ancestral. 
Feeling pretty confident, welding each other up, maybe looking to push again. Tain pops around, takes a nice big damage there. Well, moderate. That range. <laughs> and there's the phase gate we've talked about for two minutes in the dome. Yes. It's so easy to back chair calm, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> So they're going to drop this phase gate. That's going to give them a little bit more aggression towards the pipeline hive. It also gives them a backup gate uh, so that if nano grid does happen to go down, they pop out in another position forward on the map. Here comes the lone arc rolling its way across the infestation. Wee's going to catch that, though. Probably go down before anybody can come back to defend it. And why should they? At this point, I think they just need to push in. I'm also not sure why I imagine they're not putting more effort into holding the neck and holding C12. If they hold that side as well as the dome, looks like Tain's in a oh! big amount of trouble. Oh! How does he do it? <laughs> How does he do it? That was a risky business. Flight <laughs> oh, those two shotguns. man. Tain, Tain, Tain. That pain train is just too good at getting away. And here they go, pushing into the hive. You got the bow wall going down. Doesn't really do much to delay him. Double lurk, single fade, skulk. A lot of rupture going on. They split the marines, which was a wise move. But now Tain is taking a lot of damage against these shotguns. You got Wob and uh, <laughs> those two guys are just pissing around on the left of the map. I think just harassing each other whilst they try and build press. <laughs> <laughs> and now you got double arcs here at C12. They've taken down the res node. They're going to push up. They'll take down the res <clears throat> from the neck. And I think you're right. Move one of those phase gates up to the neck as we see that Sonoman Nate has gone down. Llama in a tough position. Llama saves himself as the Skulk sacrifices his body for science. Nish has got a gorge tunnel up at West Junction. That could be a potential base push. I doubt it'll be successful. It'll be certainly the next attempt for the aliens right now. I mean, it must be their only plan. They know there's a tunnel and an exit somewhere because they can see that scan. It's open, telling them it's open to somewhere. And we going to try and sneak through. Tane taking a lot of damage. Really can only get in one swipe and out of the room. Double shotgun, or a shotgun and rifle on the bottom half here against shotgun and rifle on the top half. They're in the right position. You've got the Drifter, the Gorge, and a Skulk making their way up to Marine Start. But you're losing the Harvester here in Alien Hive. Now five Marines in here. Tane can't do much of anything. Tane really low. Tane gets shot down off the pipe. And that is going to keep going because they beacon them back as they try to work on the power node down to nine percent needs still trying to get it down as it gets healed up you can definitely bet that's a gg at this point from the sonoman ggs so imagine takes it three one against the sonoman